All right, here I am at the back of the my Kuma LB15, and I've got my Fanuc spindle drive here, and I'm uh, adjusting the voltages on the um, channel seven and eight by adjusting pots RV18 and 19. I've currently got my voltmeter because I don't have an oscilloscope. I've got my voltmeter connected to channel seven, I believe it is. And I've got my trusty worker helping me out. Righto, Tony, spin the chuck, mate. Okay, keep spinning. Okay, as you can see, I've got the voltage there adjusted at 2.47, which is about as close as I can get it to 2.5. And now I'll switch channels. Righto, Tony, hold on. Right, now we're on the other channel, which is channel seven. Yeah, right, oh, Tony, spin the chuck. Yep. You can see I've got that set at almost at 2.5 exactly. So that's the correct voltage. And that did require me adjusting these two pots here. All right, so with that in play, let's go to the machine and see what it wants to do. I don't think it's going to be very happy for some reason. Right, so here's the LB15 at the control panel here. There's my chuck. And you'll see what happens when I press the jog button only, just the jog button. I'm going to press it in one, two, three. You see the chuck jerks around when I press the jog button. So if somebody can explain what the what that's indicating. Now what I'll do is I'll go to MDI and I'll type in a I'll put in a a, a, a speed a spindle speed. Uh, where have we got uh, was it an MDI data input S250 into that cycle start that and go to manual and we'll see what happens when we when we press the spindle start button to do 250 rpm in manual mode in one two three and there you go i've got my sdu alarm 110 Screen's a bit blurry, it's old, but it'll warm up, but I can read it. So yeah, adjusting those pots hasn't fixed that problem. So I'd be happy to hear from someone as to what another, any further adjustments or changes I can make to that card, if any at all. Thanks again.